so here we go welcome back so in my endeavor to give you more videos show you more of what I'm doing um, as I said before at the end of uh, the last video that I was uh, dressing up this Victorian bridge um, this is the next section that I'm doing I'm just finishing up this um, what I'm doing is just cutting these holes in the top for the um, for the suspension supports to for slot into uh, because I've basically stuck this new brickwork right over the top of where the old slots are the original slots are I'm having to cut through so that they can then uh, be slotted back in um, this side I haven't yet done this side I've done I haven't test fitted them yet to see whether they fit so there'll probably be a few adjustments to be made but uh, that's gone gone pretty good I'm using the this little bench this little grinder bench um, that I got from Audi which has got a a uh, drill attachment as well so I've just been drilling through to make the holes and then working them out with uh, a little Stanley knife Stanley blade and uh, circular file to gradually get the get the hole to uh, widen so uh, just be carry on with that for the time being yeah so this is the next uh, the next one which is one of the lower supports to the bridge you can see I was just about to take these clamps off now I'm just doing the upper the upper part there that's what's gluing in there so I've just got to do the ends that end there and that end there and then that one will be done bar a bit of painting of the stonework which I'll do as well and then also probably put, do um, a brick paint over the top of that because you can see some of the glue lines and that so I might do that so that it looks uniformly brick colour um, maybe try and get some the mortar lines in there and maybe some weathering as well but uh, I think it makes the uh, makes the bridge look better. I think it definitely improves it. So uh, yeah, so uh, trying to keep you informed. Show you as I go. Okay, so I just wanted to show you this uh, side by side shot um, before and after. I mean, the the one on the right, <coughs> I've still got to paint, do more of the painting. Um, it's a bit. Uh, needs a second maybe a third coat there but you can see the difference between not having the brickwork on and having the brickwork on I think it's really effective so uh, that one there is just gluing up and that one's finishing it's still got to be painted of course but that one's gluing up so while that's gluing up I'm going to make a start on the one on the left start putting the brickwork on and also I think I'll uh, start doing a second coat of paint on that as well so multiple things drying in one shape or another so uh, yeah making progress okay so a little up progress update um, just got this one to finish up I've just done that side there all around there and the top to do these ones these small ones are both done um, they still need painting this one is complete as far as uh, the brickwork on there is concerned and I've actually cut out for where the uh, suspension supports go in um, plus all the brickwork has been painted I've used uh, Revel uh, Revel paint acrylic paint uh, I think it's 36131 I think it is um, I look for the Humbrol uh, brick red which is number 70 which I've got and then when I look what the equivalent was for Revel because I tend to prefer Revel to Humbrol because um, I uh, I prefer acrylic paints in a lot of ways um, I found that I, I had that as well so these ones the brickwork has been painted and those have been painted with the brick red or the equivalent to the Humbrol brick red so now I've just got to finish up um, 
attaching the rest of the brickwork to this one plus this this one as well I've been painting the the stonework um, just with a um, a match pot paint rather than uh, by Revel or Humbro or Tamiya or any of the other model brands um, which can be a bit expensive when you look at the what you get in a pot um, I know match pots are only like emulsion paint but um, you're only painting it for show it's not like it's going to be a working model or anything so the the paint would wear off so um, yeah I've used um, let me have a look let me show you what I've used it's a uh, peeing down with rain at the moment um, there's my painting stand which I made myself uh, copied uh, the ones that are on different sites that are used that are made out of uh, laser cut MDF I have plenty of MDF uh, from old backings of uh, I mean old kitchen cabinet so I made one up myself um, but this is uh, this is the match pot here which I think is actually uh, Wilco's own brand um, yeah I think it is actually one of Wilco's own brands I've got a, another one there slight version uh, different version of a like a stonework colour and I've got a a Johnson's paint one there as well um, yeah you get a, a massive pot like that when you compare it to one of those pots down there it's uh, you know it's sort of four or five times as much paint and they're about 199 something like that and uh, I think it gives a good effect so that's uh, that's what I've been using so, so that's so that's where I've got to so far um, I'm going to continue with um, putting the next large sheet of uh, of the wheels kits plastic um, that's the sheet there the plastic sheet there so I'll cut that to size and I've been using uh, just using up my tube of uh, yoohoo glue to stick which is which works out good enough I've been clamping it with the with a small clamps I've got the small uh, small clamps I use the yoohoo glue is now used up when I've got an old tube of Bostic glue I'm going to use up I mean if it doesn't stick I will buy some new stuff but I thought I'll try and use it up and see how it goes so I've used up the yoohoo glue so it's just that Bostic to finish up on um, and then when that is when that is gluing I will probably uh, open up that pot and start painting the stonework on these two um, so that can be going off because it takes sort of two two or three coats to get a good covering um, I will maybe weather it down the line the bridge um, I'm not a I'm not a fan of weathering um, as for the most part um, but if I feel that uh, I want to things to be looked a little bit more lived in a little bit more uh, natural and as they should look then maybe I'll give it a go but at the moment I'll just uh, paint it fresh keep it fresh um, and then maybe do the weathering down the line but that's how far as I've got so far okay so a uh, little bit more of an update um, doing the bridge been doing the uh, the road beds they were green I think you can see the green color on the sides there um, I'm trying to do the edge uh, I've looked at some different bridges pictures of and noticed the some of the Victorian ones they did have quite uh, bright colors in certain places so what I'm aiming to do is to do this um, white on the um, cross pieces and then maybe red on the uprights there so what I've started to do was hand paint there but then I thought I might have a go at spraying it now I do have an airbrush but I'm not fantastic with it at all um, I really do need to uh, practice or maybe do a course on it but I've got some cans of uh, white spray paint 
So as you can see here, what I've done is I've attempted to mask up as good as I can, just leaving the cross pieces. And then I'm going to have a go at spraying those. And then any bits I miss, I can touch up with a brush um, and see what kind of effect that gives. Right, so next part. So I've done this side and I've done that side. Um, the only thing I've noticed is where I didn't mask up the bed here and there's some overspray that I've gone over the top there so what I shall do is mask up the bed and do the same with all of them so that they're totally covered um, and then I'll do, mask up both sides to do the outside um, spray them leave the masking tape on spray them once they're all dried off then I could uh, take the masking tape off the outside, mask up to do the same for the inside. All I've done is there, I've paint, hand painted there just with a brush. But what I'll do, I'll mask up again so that that inside can look the same as that outside. i do the same on all of those and then just uh, spray them all up. Um, the individual, the uprights there, as I said before, um, I want to do them red. I'm not going to be doing any masking up. I suppose I could once the rest is done try and mask them up individually. That might be an idea. I'll see how I feel. Because I think I think masking up and then spraying might give a better effect than using the brush and getting brush marks and whatever. I'll see how I feel. But uh, it's coming along. Right, so here's the first one mast up, mast up the bed mast up the rails inside and out you can see that inside and out that's taken me 40 minutes to do that <laughs> and I've got another three to do so it's going to be a while yet but I thought what I might do is give this its first sprain and then while that's drying off I'll start masking the next one up but uh, I think that should be quite good when it's done. Right, so uh, done all the masking up, done the spraying. This is how they look. All four pieces, as you can see, the crisscross sections, they're all glossy white now. So the next stage is me brush painting red on those uprights there. So that'll be the next stage of sprucing up this bridge but uh, it's come along nicely quite pleased with it okay so as you can see these sections are now all done uh, inside and out so I'm quite pleased with the way these have gone so what I want to do next is to take these these sections the brickwork I want to try and do a like a light sandy wash over the top and then hopefully be able to wipe it off to um, achieve the uh, the mortar line for the brickwork um, I don't know whether it's going to work because I'm where I've painted the plastic it has it has filled up some of the the grooves there but there is there is still grooves there to fill so hopefully there's enough of the wash will remain in that in that mortar line for it to stand out as uh, proper bricks and mortar but we'll see if it if it doesn't work then I'll I'll uh, I'll leave it as it is um cuz I'm reasonably pleased with how that is um and then we'll take it from there
have it, the finished bridge, all the painting done, all assembled back together. Um, I may do some weathering to it, so make sure weathering in time, but I'm happy with the way that's turned out compared to the the way it was originally. So that's uh, ready to roll. Pleased with that. Okay, thanks a lot.